I was good, y'all. Hey, I'm about to tell y'all how to actually promote y'all music. You feel me? So, it's 2024, bro. Everybody and their mama making music. Even mama's probably making music, nigga. Like, yo, mama probably, probably making music. You probably don't know, bro. It's 2024. It's so easy to make music now, bro. Everybody making music. And it don't matter if you got the best quality. It don't matter, bro. I'm telling you. It's, you seen niggas who are trash blow up, but it's just because they're consistent. I ain't gonna lie, it's 2024, bro. It's quantity over quality. Y'all see that nigga Laser Damn, he on YouTube going stupid. Or he just going stupid in general. He make his music on band lab. Like, he literally... I don't even think he use a mic. I don't know, bro. But if you go to his YouTube, he getting the hundreds, hundreds of thousands of views every time he drop. And the, the songs sound the same. You feel me? And I ain't hating. I fuck with the songs. I don't want y'all to think I was hating. I ain't got, I'm not hating. I fuck with the songs. I'm just saying, though. You don't... A lot of people... Be on YouTube preaching like, yeah. Or y'all see it on the band lab video I dropped. That shit got like 100K views now. They're like, yeah, FL Studio way better. You can be on FL Studio, but a nigga on band lab will get more views than you because you don't know how to promote your music. It's all about promotion, bro. It's all about promotion. You need to promote your music. You need to pro promote your music. It's, bro, I don't even know. It's a million. We just gonna say it's a million people, bro. It's a million people trying to get their music heard. And it's a million people making music. If you're not consistent, people are going to forget about you. Everyone, everyone is sitting here trying to remind you of something, bro. You feel me? Everyone's trying to remind you of something. So you gotta, if you got an audience, you need to keep them engaged. Like, you need to keep them listening or they will forget about you, bro. You know how many distractions there is, bro? YouTube, Netflix, bro, TikTok. Instagram reels like it's so many distractions, but they will people will forget about you So you can't just post your song one time and go on your Instagram story and, and if you do this, bro Stop doing this if you just go on your Instagram story and be like, yeah, I just dropped the song But you're not motivating anyone to go listen to the song. Why would they want to listen? Why would anyone want to listen to the song? You just saying yeah, I dropped the song nah, bro. You got you got to promote your music so you clicked on the right video. How to promote your music. So first thing you need to do, you gotta make content, bro. Now a lot of y'all might be too scared to make content or you or you don't wanna post content on your Instagram or you don't wanna do this and do that, but it's like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to keep it short and simple, bro. We all gonna be dead in a hundred years, bro. It's not gonna matter. Even in two years, bro, it's not gonna matter. No one's gonna remember what you posting on Instagram. You know that, right? So, for one, you need to actually be posting your music on Instagram, and you need to be creating content with your music. What do I mean by creating content? Create, like, little skits, and don't just don't just sing your song behind the camera and think people are going to want to listen to the song, bro. No. It's nothing motivating in, oh, I'm going to go listen to the full song. So, what you need to do, I feel like, now, if I, eh, this strategy only works for certain people. Because a, a lot of people not really taking music serious. What I mean by not taking music serious, they're not really rapping about their life. If you ain't rapping about what you live in, you're not really taking your music serious. You feel me? And the only way you're going to be able to create content is if you're rapping about your life. The only way you're, you're going to be able to make content with your music is if you're actually rapping about your life because you need to make the content relatable. How are you going to make the content relatable when you can't even relate to your own songs? So your first step is making the content relatable. What type of music do you like listening to and kind of reflect that, if that makes sense? So if you like punchlines, go make music with punchlines. And then when you try to make content surrounded it, now you can you can come up with so many different ways. Like for example, a lot of people who use like punchline bars, it'd be niggas who be trying to dress. They be, well I ain't gonna say trying to dress, but it'd be niggas who be putting on fits. They like saying little punchlines with their fits. So you could somehow intertwine that. Now I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to do it, nah. Nah, you gotta find that. But I'm gonna show y'all an example. Like I, I used to do that jump like a year ago. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all that. I'm gonna put the TikToks on the screen. Hold up, my boy. What you been on? Shit, nothing really. I just been listening to that Rollo, bro. Rollo, so hard. He said cleaned the house in 60 seconds, then went and pulled up in a minute, made. Bro, he said he said you made me crash. I was behind you. You didn't tell me you was turning on me. I right, we get it, bro. Rollo, hard. Save all that for the beat, though. Staring at the window, thinking about you, got me blinded by your love. And when I'm not out with my group, I still remember where we were. Mm -hmm. Hey, and I wonder, like, where will we be right now? But I can't see right now. Probably somewhere giving you some D right Or smoking on that gas, I need more fuel, cause I'm on E right now. I don't give a F about what they say, you know that I'm a real G. I feel just like I'm middle man, fuck what they say, I'm still me. I won't never try. Shit, what's good? What you been on, gang? Shit, man. Uh, 
Shit, nothing really. I just been bumping some no cap. Who is no cap? You don't know no cap? The nigga who with all the punchlines and shit? Oh, so like, hold on, check me out. I went to the jungle with Jim. Cause like, jungle Jim, you feel me? Yeah, like that, but that shit's weak as hell though. Let me show you how to do it. Don't go to church, but no, I'm stepping hard like eight men. Dipped on my mind, so I cannot hear what you say. And then my son DeAndre asked him if they ate. And 18 hoes want me in the club, but I don't do no pay. And roller coaster it took a while to get here. Feel like they don't understand me, so I can't let you sit here. She give me top and a rank of that brain. Take a look at my heart, fake love don't contain. Take a trip out to Portland with my main one. Say you don't got it, I throw you a dollar. Cause I know how I feel when I'm talking to so And I know how I feel when you wanna give up, but you can't just go down, pay, pay, pay. Get right. Lift up my chin, let's do it like fuck the ride. And what you need to do, bro, honestly, when you making content, bro, you need a clickbait. Like, you need to have an intriguing, like a like a title like this. I said, I said, they said I got the hardest punchlines. Now, it's not up for debate if I got the hardest punchlines or not. I got you to watch the vid. My job here is done. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bruh, you just need to click baby. You need to get them watching because when everyone just scrolling on their phone, bruh, niggas, niggas not trying to, bruh, if they not, if their attention not captured in like the first two seconds, bruh, they will scroll. So you need to be like, hold on. So when, when a nigga was scrolling, he said, yo, they said I got the hardest punchlines. 8,000 niggas stopped to actually see what I was talking about. 600 niggas liked it. And then I did this one. This was my most viral when it had, it had 11K likes. I said, when yo, when your friend been listening too much, when your friend been listening to too much Rollo Rodriguez, pull up to the studio, and I had a song where I was just coming stupid with the punchline, so I'm like, shit, I feel like Rollo. So you know, I made TikTok about it, and they was fucking with it. I did another one with with no cap, you know, no cap be having the punchlines. Now I don't make music like that no more with punchlines and shit, so I don't make this type of content. But I got some new type of content coming with my what how my new music sounding. You feel me? So you kind of just yeah. Also, yeah, so you need to be making skits. Like, I feel like skits work the most because it's actually getting the, the the viewer involved with it. You feel me? So skits. I always try to figure out how can I make a skit with my song. You feel me? Always a skit, bro. A skit. Just a skit, bro. A skit can take you a long way. And that song, the song I had, it, what, it got like a thousand plays on Apple. I can't remember how much it got on Spotify. But that joint was going stupid. You feel me? That joint was going stupid. Um... Don't be scared to promote your music on Instagram. Like, I know a lot of people be scared. They be like, ah, oh, nah, because I got friends and they going to see it. Ah, uh, bro. And you probably, I look at it like this, bro, because honestly, it's like you caring what they think. I look at it like this. If they don't fuck with you in the content you post, and they never fuck with you. So you honestly just cut off the, I ain't going to say you cut off the right people, but the right people just fell back, bro. That's all it was, bro. If they ain't fucking with you, they never really fuck with you because they don't fuck with you being your true self. But yeah, like, that's how you promote your music, bro. Because you got, yeah, you just got to make content, bro. You can shoot, you can drop all the songs you want, bro. If you don't got no content with it. If you don't got no content with it, bro, it's over. Are you just going to be making songs at this point? Or what you can do is, now you can make a YouTube account kind of like I did. I got a YouTube account. Y'all fuck with me over here, so y'all fuck with my music. Now, if you're a content creator, you can also just be a content creator, and that's how you get listening, so you can start up a YouTube channel. Now, your YouTube channel don't gotta strictly be about music, but it can just be you expressing your personality. And if you're expressing your personality, your personality should be in your music, so if they fuck with you, they gonna fuck with your music. You just gotta get on the internet. And also, I'm glad I just thought of this. Show your face, bro. Stop you not. Stop being this mysterious motherfucker. Nigga, show your face. 
Don't try to always hide behind them screen, bro. No. Show your face. And if you're not showing your face, it's because you're not confident in your music. It's that simple. If you're not showing your face, it's because you're not confident in your music. If you're not confident in your music, nobody else is going to be confident in your music. So why would niggas want to bump a nigga who's not even confident in his music? And if you're not confident in your music, you won't get to the top. It's that simple. It's that simple. So you just need to have confidence in your music, bro. If you got confidence in your music, do what I said. You're going to see results on God. Just be consistent with that jump. But yeah, that's how you promote your music, bro. We gone. Springtime, the flowers bloom. And look inside myself, and I bloom just like them. Baby, I'm a lotus, oh yeah, and I get to it. I